Welcome back, everybody. I'm Mr. Sark. I'm joined right now by John. John, you're, uh, what, what is that? Mad, uh, Mad Max. Right. Oh, I'm a huge Mad Max fan. Um, and we're gonna, you're gonna teach us a little bit more about this game that you guys have shown uh, essentially nothing, just teasing us with this trailer. That's right. Uh, which we're, uh, we're gonna be showing. It's not too long, so we're just gonna run it while we chat. Okay. Uh, uh, John, first off, tell us what, uh, what kind of game is this? Mad Max? Yes. It's a, a huge next-gen open-world hardcore vehicle combat action game. Are you going to put all that on the box? Yeah. <laughs> the genre is huge, next-gen, hardcore, open world, did you say? Open world. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. And vehicular, you said vehicular? So it's, a, it's basically, it's an original story. We have our anti-hero, Max. We drop him into a, a harsh, treacherous, massive open world um, where he uh, scavenges the world. Um, to build his unique signature vehicle called the Magnum Opus okay. uh, with the help nice. of his companion, um, an idiot savant mechanic who uh, helps him upgrade the car and add on ramming, uh, suspension, weaponry, defensive. Easier to. Scrap. Uh, so it can handle when it hits uh, skulls sco and it's things gonna like hit rib everything. cages. It's going okay, right. to tear this world apart. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, God, there's so many questions with this. Uh, m multiplayer components on this? It's a it's a very heavily story-based driven, so it's a single-player experience, original story, as I say. You, we want to immerse the player in being Max and just surviving the Wasteland as this iconic character. Now, uh, when you say original story, yeah. um, this is, uh, you mean that this is like a, a all new adventures for Max and it's not connected to the films? Totally, exactly. So okay. it's a, uh, it's a completely new story. We're setting up this world. We want it to be uh, immersive. We want it to be perfectly sort of tied to the gameplay. Uh, it has to be a, a great open world experience. So, yeah, it's an original do, story. Do you original have characters too? Yeah, the the mechanic. Uh, Bucket is yeah. the mechanic. Yeah. What was his name? Chum Bucket. Ch oh, yeah. Gee, there are a lot, a lot of pretty uh, edgy names in the in, in the game. Uh, yeah. In your mind, just just you and I. This is just you and me. Forget okay. all. Forget all this nonsense. <laughs> Where might this lie if it was uh, viewed in the timeline of the films? He's got um, the leg brace, so it's after Max 1. Gotcha. Um, is it, does it, we're not is it actually Tina Turner? Defining that. We're not actually defining that. And in the context okay, of the right. story, it's not really that important. You could say that it's... Um, you could say that it's... So it's like earlier. an unfilmed advent. It's like, uh, hey, at some point... Yeah. Check out this uh, adventure that Max went on. Exactly. It's I got not, it. It's not, we're not placing it. Sort That's kind of cool, uh, actually. In the right context. Because then it you're not limited. You can really go yeah. nuts with the world. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, and now, the as far as the uh, your, your buddy, your mechanic. Yep. Um, is that, uh, like, how does that work? How, what are the mechanics? Mechanics. Is that, uh, like, a AI? Or is, does it act like almost like a shop in your car? or Essentially, uh, you as a player are going to over the course of the, the game, construct your very own unique wasteland war machine. You do that by uh, befriending some elements in the world, by uh, engaging, enlisting help. Um, and there are so many different factors and parameters that you can choose to, to upgrade or go after. Uh, you can choose your own style of gameplay. So maybe you want to build like a tank, a real ramming heavy vehicle, because that's the way you like playing. You like, you know, Plowing down gates and plowing into other vehicles. So not everyone will uh, follow the same path as far as vehicle creation there. We hope that every vehicle will be unique. So, ah, so interesting. it'll be okay. an expression of your own play style, it'll be an expression of the choices that you've made, and it'll be an expression of the journey through, through the wasteland that everyone will love. Is there, like, is there survival elements? Is there you know, uh, scavenging? you got to find uh, gas or petrol Absolutely. Or food, so all that? The, it's a treacherous wasteland. Nothing goes to waste. You're going to have to fight for every scrap, you know, fuel, resources, yeah. ammunition. Um, yeah, and there's, there's random encounters, there's activities, camps, there's like threat everywhere. Um, Can I eat people? Is there a cannibalism element? Because that, uh, that is my first, the, my first stop 
when yeah. the apocalypse drops. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm gonna just lay a quick theory on you. As soon as the apocalypse drops, I think the, the survivors are the ones that get to insanity first, okay. so. I don't know, I'm no expert on the apocalypse. Well, I, you're talking to one, I'm, so if you got any questions, we'll flip this interview around. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to take on board your tips <laughs> if I ever end up in that situation. Um, uh, puppy dog? Is, is there, there a puppy dog? Is there, yeah, or is that um, we're not. We're not discussing that right now. Okay. Um, so right. I'm going to be a little bit evasive. All right. Yep. God, the developers at E3. <laughs> Slippery. Um, I think we've got. Uh, we've actually I mean, got, we've a got just. We've got a, a, a long sort of uh, campaign where we're going to be. This is such a broad game, a lot of depth. So we're going to be revealing There's a lot of. There's going to be a lot of stuff. All on, right. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take. I'm satisfied with that. Good. Uh, John, we've got a, a social stage over here, and Bruce and APL are fielding some questions uh, from our viewers. Bruce, APL, you want to lay some on us? Yes, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, so, so if you guys want to ask questions about Mad Max, hashtag MLiveE3. Send them in right now, because we've got John stuck to the stage. We're going to ask him a bunch of questions. APL, can, I, yeah, can I jump in? Because I have a question. One. You take I have the a first question one. for John right off the bat. Yeah. When are we going to see? I love the trailer. I, the, the hype around it is great. When are we going to see some gameplay? Do we have a hard date on, on when we might see some gameplay? Uh, well, uh, footage in game. Why don't you come to our booth? Oh, wow. Oh, he wow. He said, he said, why don't you come to our booth? OK, all right, well, all right, well. All right, I will be there. Like Can I leave dirty now? Major uh, you guys should get out of right. li the living room, you know? OK. <laughs> all right, so Mad Max gameplay here at E3. Here I at think E3. Okay. you and I have some adventures scheduled today out we in the do. wild. So I think we may actually do that. We're going to come by and check it out. I'll yeah. see what it looks like. So we'll be showing live gameplay there. Really? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, you get to meet Chum Bucket. Oh, Awesome. Bruce, lay it on us. So, Machinima for Mad Max. Who <laughs> runs Barter Town? Who run Barter Town? It was inevitable. I apologize, John. Yep. The internet's insane. I'm just reading That's off okay. the Twitter wall. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, no problem. I mean, That's it. <laughs> it's, it's inevitable that we get these questions, but just to reiterate, it's a completely new world. It's a completely new story, all right. completely new characters. You know. So there's no yep. Barter Town at all, then, it sounds like. That's Bruce, that that's like an you. assumption. <laughs> that's an assumption, Bruce. It's a big world, and who knows? All right, okay. I'll handle this for you. <laughs> My, they're, they're ruffians. You're anyway, a blocker. APL, you, why don't you ask another question? All right, I got another question. Oh, uh, Platform-wise, uh, yeah. how many platforms are we going to see uh, Mad Max on? We're going to see it on next gen, current gen, PC. And we're very excited to be able to present the same experience on current gen platforms and PC as well. I, I have a quick question with, uh, and I haven't asked, this is a, a question I could probably ask a number of developers, but uh, looking at the big like building sized poster of Mad Max on the wall outside, yep. and I'm seeing this a lot this year. Available on 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4. Is, the mul is that multi-platform development uh, tricky? I think a lot of people are concerned about getting a 360 port on their Xbox One, uh, understandably, I think. Yep. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, but the, the next-gen platforms are powerful machines, and we're definitely going to be able to offer um, new possibilities. We're going to be able to offer something unique. So, so. Your, the, the, your Xbox One version of Mad Max is going to look appropriately pretty. Exactly. For, OK, all right. PC, I'll, I'll hop in and just ask. P any, any PC plans? Yep. PC is yeah, it's in there. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Sweet. Something for everyone. Sorry, I turned my volume off. Oh yeah. So yeah. In, in terms of open world, you got you guys said it was open world. Uh, what's the size of the game? Like, can you compare it to a GTA or can you compare it to a Red Dead? What what, what kind of size of Mad Max? Good question. Um, we had uh, our engine has um, uh, the capability to to render and model massive open world spaces. So if you think back to Just Cause 2, which was um, a great title for Avalanche. Yeah. That was 32K by 32K, which was unprecedented size-wise for an open world game. Now, uh, our, our map is the same size, but we have different sort of transport elements uh, in this game. So right. you've got driving and on foot, uh, the main ways that you explore the wasteland. So what the actual playable area is, in order for us to make sure that you have dense enough kind of opportunities and action and all that sort of stuff, We'll find out. That's great. That's, yeah. That was very detailed. Much more detailed yeah. than yeah. expected. Yeah. So. And Just Cause had a big ass map oh, too. It was awesome. That's it's exciting. It was like a sandbox. You just you're just playing around the entire time. So, <laughs> all right. So here's another question from Twitter. Uh, from what I understand, while playing single player, is it possible to encounter another group of people, and exactly how that will play? So that means, I, I, are you sort of on the single player narrative in this Mad Max game? Will there also be a multiplayer element to it that you're encountering other people? Or how does that work? Um, 
it's a it's a single player game, and as I say, it is totally there's a, there's a, a, a very strong story element. Yeah. So you will be following the the sort of development of Max, and he's a he's a complex character. He's got issues, um, and you'll be be following on his journey as he sorts them out. He's one of the last people in the wasteland with any sort of humanity, but disaster and destruction follow him wherever he goes. So it's a, a very compelling story. But then obviously we have to give players opportunity to explore the wasteland, to carve their own path uh, through uh, all the sorts of encounters and activities and camps and whatever. Right. Um, so there'll be, there'll be strong elements of both exploration, open world play, and story driven content. Fantastic, all yeah. right, cool. And we, we've awesome. seen stuff like this uh, recently too, where games, uh, w games that I feel would actually suffer if there was a co-op, as fun as cooperation is, mm -hmm. they're like Skyrim, for example, as it is, in my opinion, my friends are idiots, and if I'm playing that game with my buddies, it's going to really take me out of that world. Yeah. So, I, my own personal opinion is it, it 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 does a lot to define the style of play, and we really want to focus on what's going to be the most fun, give yeah. the most opportunity for action, be able to you know tear stuff down. Totally. Uh, so I love I love co-op when it's designed into the game, mm -hmm. not when it's tacked on, so that we can say there's co-op. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So. Awesome, John. Thank you so much. Um, I think we're going to check out some COD ghosts. Is that right, you guys? Actually, there might All be right, one more. I think we got one more question. One more question. Oh, 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 wait. I am escorted Hold. personally to the Mad Max booth to play Hold the that game. Right? Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the deal we struck. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, ahead. yeah, the last question that we have right now is uh, people want to know if there's side quests in Mad Max uh, in, in, in the open world. I assume there are, but... There are, there are so many activities you will never, you'll, you'll never see the end of them. There are random encounters, there are activities, there are side quests, there are encampments, there's threat everywhere. Great. There's danger around every corner. Cool. All right, great. Awesome. Yeah, so I guess yeah. now we can go watch the Congo. Yeah, for a video. second, John sounded like Will Ferrell and Step Brothers. Activities? <laughs> so, many activities. so many activities. So many activities in Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep, so I think uh, we're moving on with the stream, you guys. Thank you so much, John, for coming by. My and, pleasure. And uh, uh, tantalizing APL into going by the booth. We're going to run some uh, <laughs> a little COD Ghosts video for you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey there, got some free time for E3. Good. Starting on June 11th to the 13th, tune in for our 24-hour E3 coverage featuring the latest gameplay, hardware, and trailers from the biggest gaming convention of the year. Catch it all on your phone, tablet, computer, or other rectangular viewing device right here at Machinima or on your 360 with our patented Machinima app. Patent pending. <laughs>